In this video, we will continue to discuss contact forces. Contact forces are the forces that act between the objects when the objects are in contact with each other. We have already discussed what a muscular force is. It is the force that is generated due to the actions of muscles in our body when a body is applying force on any object. Muscular force is a contact force. Another contact force that we can talk of is the force of friction. What is force of friction? Try rolling the ball on a horizontal plane surface. What do you notice? You noticed that this ball gradually slows down after some time and eventually comes to a halt. Why does this happen? Why doesn't the ball continue to move in the same direction forever? The reason for its slowing down and ultimately stopping is the force that this surface applies on the ball when it's moving. Yes, the surface applies the force on the ball and the direction of this force is opposite to that of the motion. So when the ball was travelling towards the right, the surface was applying a force on it towards the left. The force applied on the ball by the surface is called the force of friction or simply friction. Friction plays quite an important role in our daily life. We can walk and run because of friction. How does it help us walk? When we walk forward, we push the ground with our foot in the backward direction. In return, the ground exerts a force in the forward direction which moves us forward. The force that the ground exerts is nothing but the force of friction. The examples that we've seen till now are the ones in which the frictional force exists between solid objects. Now consider a boat moving in a quiet lake. In order for this boat to move, the person in the boat must continuously row it. Now if he stops rowing it, Will the boat move forward? No, just like the rolling ball stopped at the solid surface, the boat will also stop eventually in water. It stops because of the force of friction between the water and the surface of the boat which is in contact with the water. So from all the examples that we've seen in this video, what can you conclude about the force of friction? Is it a contact force? We see that in the first example, the ball was in contact with the surface. In the second example, the foot was in contact with the ground. And finally, the boat was in contact with the surface of water. So we can safely say that force of friction is indeed a contact force. But is contact between the objects necessary for the force to act between them? We will see that in the next video.